Hey, what's going on guys? Message Reverts here, and today I got some news on a bunch of other stuff coming to Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered, such as supply drops to the new currency, and a just a bunch of other stuff like that. So getting straight into this here, guys, this is what the new black market looks like. It's called the Depot, and of course there are supply drops. As you can see, there's a common and rare supply drops, and this is what they look like. And as you guys can see, they pretty much do work the same way as previous Call of Duty titles, such as Black Ops 3 and uh, Infinite Warfare. They do require 30 keys, but they're not going to be called keys in this game. They're going to be called Depot credits, and I'm pretty sure you earn them the same way just by playing the game. And then when you open up a supply drop, you are only going to get three items, just like Black Ops 3 and the Infinite Warfare. So pretty much it does work the same way as those previous Call of Duty titles. And a salvage is going to be returning, but it's going to be called parts. And you use these parts to craft weapon kits, and basically weapon kits are like a skin of the gun. Uh, they really don't do anything to the stats change. They just uh, purely add cosmetic changes to the gun. So that's pretty cool. And uh, But there are going to be melee weapons in supply drops. That's the only type of weapons that you can get in supply drops there's no weapon variants or anything like that so that is actually pretty cool in the game I'm pretty happy about that because I'm not a huge fan of weapon variants in the game so uh, yeah that's actually really cool and uh, so yeah guys I, I honestly I really do like all these changes to Modern Warfare Remastered I'm, I didn't play COD 4 when it first came out I'm not gonna lie and uh, I haven't really been playing it ever since the game came out uh, but I do think that these weapon kits, supply drops, and a bunch of other changes like this does kind of add like a uh, like a sense to play the game, you know, because you actually want to get on and play the game for like these cosmetic weapons, these camos, and uh, whatnot. So I'm pretty excited about this, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments, guys. I really don't see any harm with adding cosmetics in the supply drops. Like, if there were weapon variants, then of course I would. But uh, like I said, I really don't see any problem with having these cosmetic uh, skins and uh, melee weapons in the game because they really don't add... Um, and they really don't change up the game that much. Uh, so yeah, tell me what you guys think about that down in the comments. And for those of you guys that might be like shocked about this, you know, we all kind of knew this was coming because, uh, you know, there's nothing we can do about supply drops coming in the game. I'm pretty sure supply drops are going to be in every single Call of Duty from here on out. There's nothing we can do about that, guys. So uh, we honestly just have to kind of grin and bear it. But uh, supply drops is actually kind of done right in, in this game. So I'm pretty happy about that, guys. But that's just my own opinion, guys. I want you to tell me what you think about this down in the comments. And a drop a like if you guys did enjoy. And I thank you for watching. I'm a Vert. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time. I'll catch you guys later.